We've got an important species here, another native. This is uh, yew, Taxus baccata. Now, this is about the most toxic tree um, that we'll find grown in this part of the world. So it's definitely one to avoid as a fuel for your firewood because potentially you could toxify food. Um, according to folklore, if you slept beneath one of these, fairies would steal your soul. So I must confess, my soul was stolen many years ago in the New Forest because I slept under one. Nothing strange happened that I know of. Um, now, despite being very toxic, you will read, particularly on the internet, on blogs and things, people talking about eating the um, fruit of this tree. In terms of botany, it's actually classified as a cone, it's not a fruit, and there's one remaining here, and we can see it's this little red berry appearing thing, and we can actually see in the end and see the seed there, so it's very distinctive, very unique looking. Now whilst it is true that people do eat the flesh off of these, the seeds are incredibly toxic, so you wouldn't want to accidentally crunch up a seed. So it's best, I think, to just leave, leave them alone altogether. Um, Unless, of course, you're looking for a very attractive wood for wood carving. Um, and particularly, these were used a lot for bow making because the wood's incredibly but good in tension and compression. Um, it also has a very, very rich orangey, salmony colour to the inside. And even just from a, from a knife cut finish, it can, it can almost appear polished. So it's very sought after for wood carving. They're very, very slow growing. So you find a lot of these in churchyards and the theory is that they've been there so long that they predate the churches and indeed Christianity, and that it was the Roman habit of building temples and likening their gods to the gods of people that they conquered that caused the Romans to build temples where the Druids had worshipped among these trees, and that those Roman temples then with Constantine the Great became churches, and that therefore that is why today so many churches uh, have lots of yew trees in their churchyards. Um, Certainly we know that these trees can live two, two and a half thousand years and recent DNA research has shown that there are um, examples where the branches have touched down and created a, a ring of new trees that are genetically identical to the original parents. So that, that two, two and a half thousand year process could repeat multiple times. So although the oldest tree in the world is reckoned to be, I think at the moment, a bristle cone pine at 4,600 years old, um, there is an argument that it may well in fact be a yew tree. Um, it's just a case of learning more about them as genetic research gives us more and more data. But a fascinating tree, uh, and believe it or not, this is the reason that all the money that you give to the government is known as tax. So this is Taxus baccata, and an import duty of bow staves made of ta uh, cut from Taxus baccata was introduced in the Hundred Years' War, so the import duty of Taxus baccata became shortened to an import tax, and the name tax has stuck all the way to your tax returns today. So let's not hold too much resentment for the yew tree as a result of that.